yeah, I, I does this shit so easily I lay back recording, they feeding me Tur Turn this shit up if you feeling me If you real to me, I know you listening I, I think it's time to start speaking my mind They trying and trying but forcing they rhymes Lying and shit, but can't do the time Trapping and shit, but a job they can find I'm cold on these beats like I'm sick in this bitch They hiding from me, I'm not seeking And today I'm going to be making my weight loss video <laughs> um, about my weight loss journey, as you can tell by the actual title. So all I'm doing is I have it all framed out and that's what I have on this phone. So if I look down, don't mind me. Yeah, no. Um, so first off, I just want to thank everybody that liked, comment, shared, you know, gave me positive feedback, whatever the case may be on the picture that I posted on Facebook. I posted it on Instagram as well. So shout out to y'all. Um, and I'm going to post it here. This is what really motivated me to get to the video. So basically, what I am going to be talking about today is basically a little about myself. And then I'm going to go into what is the plan that I'm doing? What is it called? How does it work? Stuff like that. And then I'm gonna go into y'all specific questions and answers that y'all ask I mean, <laughs> y'all specific questions that y'all asked me. And then I'm gonna wrap it up with like future things that y'all can look forward to with being subscribed to my channel, which by the way, if you are not already subscribed, please hit subscribe. So a little about me going into that topic. I am a female rapper. I am from Indianapolis, Indiana and I've been doing this plan called keto um, and I've been doing it since April 24th of this year and I have been doing it since then. So I have lost 64 pounds since then. Also my all my social medias will be posted below just so y'all can keep an update on like my new videos or what's coming next or what I'm doing. Or if I do another Q&A, you can always stay in tune and get your voice heard. So that's an awesome way to keep in contact with me, things of that nature. I'm a really open person, not boozy, none of that. I'm a real person. So if you want to like hit me up, hit me up. Um, and we can talk, talk about the weight loss, whatever the case may be. Music, all that. What is keto? Um, I know that I said that, but it has become more popular than what it used to be. So most people probably already know what the keto diet is. Basically, what um, what a lot of people do is they use a lot of fat. So they use butter, they do bacon grease or whatever the case may be to get a lot of fats in their diet but there is healthier fats and with me I was more focused on becoming more healthier than to actually do the keto I mean the keto diet but that's where I based it from so I still get a lot of fats and things of that nature but it's more good fat so those are the type of like fats I do I don't really go extra with like grease or the unhealthy fats but it still works so you still you still may lose weight if you're doing those things it's just with me I just feel like that's not as healthy as it can be so I'm not knocking anybody if that's how y'all do the keto at all I mean it works if it works I mean if it works it works if you're getting your end result that's all that matters so what do I do when I feel like giving up? Um, I do exactly what I did. I compare my pictures. So I take a lot of pictures throughout my journey since April. Um, a lot of them is like with clothes off. So I may not be able to show a lot of them, but I will like post like different pictures that I have. Um, but when I feel like I'm not losing or when I feel like is it really benefiting me? I always compare my pictures from where I was. Even if it was like a month ago and it's not a huge difference, I still see that type of transformation. So just find something that works best for you. Take hella pictures, cause pictures will go a long way, definitely. Somebody asked, what should people know when they first begin and how to start? So first I'm gonna tell you how to start. With me, literally, I didn't start like the first of the month. I didn't start um, a Monday. You know, I didn't start like, oh, I'm going to start specifically on this day. I didn't count down to it. 
I had to make a decision in my head. So you have to start when you're ready. And it can be in the middle of the day. It can be like for dinner, I'm starting this. You can start right now, but you just have to make sure that you are mentally ready for it. Um, if you feel, you have to love, like with me, not saying this works for everybody, but with me, I had to love myself the way that I was first. Because every time that I did not love myself and I kept saying, oh, I'm horrible, this is ugly, I just fell back in that hole where I'm like wanting to emotionally eat or wanting to go grab a snack at midnight or wanting to go out to eat 24 seven because I didn't feel like cooking because I'm sad now. It's just like I had to love myself and be like, okay, you're beautiful the way you are or you're handsome the way you are if you're a man. But I know that I can better myself. Do it. Stop making excuses for yourself. Every day that you're making excuses, the longer time from your goal. Because you're going to always want that goal. When you look in the body and you're not satisfied, you're, it's always going to be in the back of your head. That food may taste good <laughs> right then and there. I'm telling you. I already know. That food may feel like it's worth it. It is what it is. But when you take your clothes off or whenever you get alone or whenever you take a picture, whatever you are insecurities come out whatever triggers it you're gonna like dang i regret it because now i just push it off again all right so how to do it on a budget hmm easy literally <laughs> show y'all pictures though like i'm thinking about doing a whole instagram page and just showing y'all what like i eat and just like basic like recipes how strict oh no i said that oh no how strict so basically there are three types of keto there's lazy keto dirty keto and strict keto with me, I lean towards more strict keto. Even though I don't do macros, even though I don't track, I still like don't really eat like fast foods. Again, because I'm trying to be healthier. Um, I don't really lean towards like processed foods or anything like that. So I lean more towards strict keto, but I do have times where I am dirty keto. Like if I do want to stop at like McDonald's, I, I'm gonna do it. Like, you know, I'm gonna get a double cheeseburger without the bun. Like it ain't gonna kill me. Um, how did I do it? This is how, keto. Keto, and no, I don't really work out that much. I do squats, I twerk, <laughs> literally. I twerk a lot, I dance a lot, I stay active. I'm really like, I clean my house. I'm not really like a lazy person, but I'm not really like a gym addict, which I should be, I should get abs. Okay, excessive skin. I had somebody comment this, it was so funny. Uh, how did they, and somebody comment under, like, so I asked, okay, why don't you have excess skin? I wasn't that big, okay? I wasn't, not saying that people are bad if they got excess skin. That means you lost a lot of weight, like, period, and fast, too. Body stretches out a lot, like, you have excess skin. Of course, when you lose weight, it's like the skin is still left behind because it's like, it lost its elasticity. With me, I'm 21, so I think that definitely plays a part. I don't really have kids for like my belly to be like, like I know there's like, like basically there's like, um, there's something in your stomach and it kind of like stretches when you have kids. So that, that plays a part, I'm pretty sure. I'm not knocking anybody, that's not ugly. It's not anything bad, it's just that I'm 21, I don't really have any kids, so it didn't happen to me. So no, I don't really have excess excess skin. No, I didn't really do any like regimens. I don't waist train. A lot of people ask that. Like I don't waist train. Well, yeah, I do, I do. I did try to buy one before, but it hurts. All right. Nobody tell all these superstars, all these people want to walk around and promote it, but it hurts. You can't wear it every day. You can wear it like an hour, and I'm like, get that thing off of me. No, it's kind of like naturally curvy, you know. I'm just fucking. No, seriously, I am naturally curvy. Um, what I drank, what kind of sugar? Now, drinks like alcohol, any type of like straight alcohol. I did it, and I got like Gatorade Zero or something to travel. With. Like straight alcohol, you're fine. So no, I didn't drink any sugary drinks like martinis, Sex on a Beach, <laughs> whatever the case may be. 
but I can put the sugar and everything on my Instagram page. Saggy breasts. A lot of women were like, you know, you do have big breasts. Did they get saggier? They did not get saggier in my opinion. I've always had a big chest. So they didn't really go down, <laughs> okay? So they're basically the same. It looks like it because like around, I went down. Like I went to like, around I went down. But like these, I don't think they really changed that much to the point where they really like deflating. They're not really going anywhere. And that's another video because I'm definitely reducing these bad boys because they're humongous for me. <sighs> All right. So no, I don't really have saggy breasts. Um, if you're scared about it, I would just basically, like you can do push-ups, you do upper body, just to get that. Um, but if you do have a bigger chest, you can't always think about getting a reduction. I mean, because it it, it, it hurts our backs. It does a lot. I'm not sure I'm talking into anything or talking to you have talking you into hating your body, but it, it's a lot. Um, so if you are worried about that, just look into it. Just look into exercises that you can do to try to prevent it. But with me, they haven't really changed that much. Hmm. Was it hard to stay consistent? For me, no. Again, I did have times where everybody in my office would be like eating cupcakes or eating cookies. So I'm like, well, let me get a little pinch of yours. It ain't gonna kill me. Um, but staying consistent wasn't really hard because I always put myself back on track and I always, again, I loved myself and I, I always seen my progress. So it made me want to keep going. So just keep your motivators, keep something that's close to you that helps you stay on track or even like a, a partner or a buddy and keep yourselves on track. Definitely. Losing curves. So again, with me, I was like, even when I was bigger, I had curves, literally, I I I just have curves. So no, I didn't do any extra exercises that really stopped. I mean, that really like made me shape out this way. I don't do waist trainers or anything like that. So it's nothing really special with me. Um, I know that waist trainers does work on some people. So if you are scared to lose your curves, definitely wear a waist trainer or at least like a stomach wrap when you like exercise. I heard that helps out a lot, like a belt or something. Like it just keeps like everything like curvy. Um, squats can keep your booty, like them thighs, you know, together, I guess. I do squats and I do a lot of like twerking, which is a lot of leg shaking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell y'all this. Um, so yeah, those are some tips and tricks for that. And I also just like still like, you know, you know, I really don't know what I'm saying, but I don't, I don't know about curves. It's in my jeans. So if it's in your jeans, I'm pretty sure you're not going to lose them, honey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add that. But that's all the questions that I got so far. If y'all have any other questions that wasn't really explained very good in the video or you want more details about it, because I don't want this to be super long, you can always DM me. I just wanted to put like the basics out here so I don't keep repeating myself. But if you want more in depth like answers or anything like that, I could try my best to assist you if you like hit me up in my DMs or message me on Facebook. And of course, again, my Instagram and everything will be below about time I edit this and everything. I also just wanted you guys to know that I'm also working on actually making my own keto snack page. Um, where I'm going to be actually selling like keto trail mixes, things of that nature. But again, like, comment, share, tell me what you want to know, tell me what you want to see. And thank you so much for watching my video and for supporting me. Bye, until next time.